welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be discussing the topic how you can actually get started in tech in 2021 this is something i've always wanted to share on this channel and i'm glad that i'm doing it at the beginning of the year where i know a, a lot of people are actually thinking of starting their careers or they already started but they are looking for ways to stay consistent right and there are also people that are thinking about switching their um, jobs and getting into tech so this video is for you if you fall into any of these categories so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you different ways that and the different paths that you could take to start your career in tech and also sharing actionable tips that would help you stay consistent on your journey so let's get right into it to start off i would like to start with the myths that are prevalent in the tech industry there are a couple of people that will tell you that for you to start a career in tech or for you to get a job in tech you need to have a degree you need to have a tech degree that is not true that is a big lie you can be in tech, you can get a job in tech, you can be successful in tech without having a background in tech, like without having a degree in tech. And I know people that have done this and they are very successful in their careers. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'd like to say this to anyone watching this video. If you're planning to switch careers from say banking and finance to tech or whatever career you already have and you're trying to switch over without having any background in tech, I'm here to tell you that it's very possible for you to do that you just need to stay consistent and own your journey anyone can have a tech job as long as they put in the work and they go for it now at this point i would like to share a couple of tips that i have that would help you stay consistent on your journey and will help you see results this advice goes out to anybody learning really it does not really matter what field or what specific area in tech you want to start off this advice that I'm about to give you would also apply to you. So the first thing I would like to say is to pick a niche or find a specific area that you are interested in starting off with. A lot of people would do research and do research and they will find out that there exists over like 10 or 20 different roles that you can have in tech and then they become confused on which one to start off with or you just see people that start off learning front end and then at the mid middle of their journey they switch to back end and they just keep switching so i would say before you decide to start off the first thing you need to do is to pick a niche pick a an area you want to focus on now the good thing is that there is no limit to what you can do in tech there are several different things and areas that you can get into that I'm pretty much sure that you might be interested in and I'm going to share a couple of them now the list that I'm about to share with you is not the complete list of the careers that exist in tech but these are some of the most popular ones so be sure to do your research if you're thinking of switching to any of this and also something I'd like to point out is be sure that you're actually interested in what you're picking because people have different reasons for coming into tech right if your reason is not legit you might at the end of, and you don't have interest in it to be honest or you don't have, you're not as interested in it as you want or somebody's forcing you to do it then you might not be able to keep up and that would eventually lead to um, you dropping out or you switching to something else so be sure that you're interested in what you're picking and you actually are going to be committed to learning it the first one I'd like to mention is front-end development. Front-end development is one of the most popular ones or the tech careers that, that is in tech right now. I'm a front-end developer myself. Front-end has to do with what you see on the websites, like the front-end of the websites, the, the visual aspects of the websites. Back-end, on the other hand, is another field you might want to venture into. There is also product manager or project managers. There are UI designers. There is data science and artificial intelligence, if that is something you're interested in checking, checking out. These are some of the different fields that are available for you to venture into, but you need to also be sure that you make proper research to make sure that you're picking the right one for you. Another action tip I would like to share is after picking a path and deciding on what you want to do in tech, the next step is to create an action plan. This is a very important step because it can make or break what your 
um, planning to do with your year or what or the plans that you have for the year really now creating an actionable plan is very important an actionable plan could be i want to learn web development in six months and at the end of six months i want to find myself an internship this is an actionable plan because it has a time frame that you plan on achieving it it also has a result at the end of it that you want to get an internship so you could yours could be anything this is just an example so finding or creating an actionable plan is very very important and you should do this at the beginning of your journey another very important tip I'd like to share with you is to learn while building this sounds quite vague but learning and building as a newbie in tech there are a lot of resources out there there are a lot of um, videos there are a lot of tutorials out there don't be stuck on the tutorial block this is why I say this a lot of people when they're starting out in tech they tend to just watch 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 and they don't build right they watch this course they watch this tutorial they read this article they do this you're just dumping all of the knowledge inside but you're not actually practicing so something that would really help you is to build while learning and the idea is that as you're going as you're learning on your journey make sure you're also building things that you can then apply the things that you're learning to the projects that you eventually build now this has two benefits the first one is that for you to reinforce the knowledge that you're gaining from reading or watching these tutorials you're also applying it to your own personal projects another benefit of doing this is that at the end of say six months of your learning journey you have a ton of projects to show for the period that you've been learning for right so you have not just tutorial um, projects that you just watched from YouTube and you built, but you also have personal ones that are your own personal ideas that you built out and then you can add this to your portfolio. Eventually you're building yourself, you're building your portfolio as you're going on. So this is a very good way of learning. That tip I would like to share is that you should join a community. I can't overemphasize the, the benefits of joining a community as a newbie in tech. You might feel alone, especially if you're learning on your own, like if you don't have friends that are already in tech that can guide you through, or you don't have people that you can talk to, then your best bet is to join an online community. It could be also a physical community if you have that available to you. But there are lots of communities out there that are helping beginners in tech to find their fit in their tech career. So I'll, I'll mention a couple of them and I'll also link some in the description box so you can check them out. I remember when I started my journey, I joined a tech community online. This community was called 100 Days of Code and it's, a, it's actually a challenge that I think you might also give it a try if you're interested in doing it. 100 Days of Code means that you code for at least an hour every day for 100 days that's you code for three months in total and you're not just coding you're actually you're learning you're part of a community of people that are also doing almost the same thing as you're doing and you have people that you can learn from people that you can chat with people that you can share your journey your struggles with this is very very important to have there is also the free code camp community this is one of the biggest and the largest community out there for beginners Finally, I would like to share Code Newbies. Code Newbies is also, like the name implies, for Code Newbies that are new in tech. So you can also check out these communities. It's very, very important to have a community because there are so many things you can gain from this. More connections from these communities. You can learn. You can also share your work with these communities. So it's very, very important. Finally, I would like to wrap up this video by saying, as long as you have a zeal and you're consistent with your journey, you can be successful in tech thank you so much for watching i hope you found a couple of things that i shared helpful please share this video with people that you know that they are also looking to get into tech in this 2021 and finally don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe also so i'll see you in my next video thank you